Ochet, my apprentice. One day, you will be a hunter. A hunter? A protector of the island, culling any creatures who threaten its balance. And a protector of the island needs a loyal companion. Companion. Blood Jackal, radiant in the sun's grace. Its fangs are made to tear the flesh of its prey, making them formidable weapons. The Malama Owl, serene in the grace of the moon. Its wings shape the air's currents, and magical power, too. Both are among the rarest creatures known. You must choose one, Ojet. And having chosen one, you must befriend it. Go ahead, try. Hmm, which one should I choose? Like you. I'm going to call you Mahina. Getting along already, I see. <laughs> you have found a fine companion. And you will be a fine hunter, Ojet. Thank you, Master Juva. What is the meaning of this? It's acting strangely. Stay back, Ochet. It could be dangerous. Huh? Uh. Ochet! Smell it. The scent of our quarry. It's close. Very close. Aha! There you are, Mr. King Iguana. You eat too much and you've gotten too big. It's wrong to take more than your share. The forest belongs to everyone. Sorry. But I'm here to hunt you, and then get back in time for breakfast. Come on, Mahina! <laughs> I'm getting tangled!
time like the present. Let's see how fast we can capture him. Takes care of that. Nicely, nicely done, Ochet. You've really been improving lately. I'm so hungry. The weak are meat for the strong to eat. That's the rule here. Chet, remember, everyone eats together. Oh, just one bite, a nibble at the edge. Oh, if you must then, but just a little. <laughs> yeah, now that's the Mahina I know. Chat? Mm. Mm. Forget it. It's nothing. Let's get back to the village, Mahina. Hunter returns to the village. Do I smell humans? Come on, Mahina. Listen up, beastlings. Our forest is almost hunted out. So give us some of your forest, too. We humans need it. This is pointless. They're animals. Can't hardly talk, even. Maybe they'll understand this. Hey, if Kohaze hears about this, It's the Warden. The Warden of the Isle. Be gone, O oh humans. We have lived on this island in peace since time immemorial. Now, you who came after seek to rob us of it. We had an agreement. We divided the land and swore not to trespass against each other. Right. And now we want more. How are humans supposed to live here without enough food and resources? Your greed betrays you, as always. You felled the forest so your settlements could grow. Instead of plotting to steal the forest, better you should learn to coexist with it. We don't need coexistence. We need land. 
Maybe we should take this whole village. What? What the? I knew it. Humans from the next village. But I still haven't had breakfast. Let's get him out of here. Get him. <laughs> My prey awaits. Go on, then. Got it. Right. Master Juva. Hi, everyone. I'm back. <sighs> so quick to resort to violence. Thanks, Ochet. Our hero, family's pride. <laughs> Hunting was good today, too. Looking tasty. Looking good. Looking good. Looking tasty. Hold on while I prepare it, okay? Mmm, good smell. Looking tasty. Looking good. Ochet, meet me on the western hill. We can talk while we eat.
stuff, huh? <laughs> Especially the leaner bits. Yes. Meat hunted by an apprentice always has a special savor to it. And today's quarry was a king iguana, I gather. You are a true hunter, Ojet. Your bow preserves the forest's balance. <laughs> I do my best. I'm getting pretty good at this, right? Not just hunting, but also talking. I didn't spend all those years copying your example for nothing. Don't praise her too, too much, Juba. It only makes her eat more. <laughs> Ten years since the two of you met. remember the one I didn't choose that day. I looked all over, but never did find them. Put that out of your mind. What happened that day was fate. Anyway, I gave Mahina enough love for both of them. <laughs> Good to hear. I have ruled as Warden of the Isle for many years now. I will die one day, just like the creature that gave us this meat. When that day comes, Ojet, the island will become your burden to bear. Uh, I don't know, Master Cuba. That sounds kind of heavy. A hunter has to travel light. keep going out every day to hunt up some good eating. I see. Tell me, have you noticed the change in the forest? Hmm. It's like the whole forest is... afraid. Warden! Warden! Well, what business has the chief of the human village here? Forgive my people for what they did. I came to offer this by way of apology. I did not think you had such humility in you. It makes me uneasy if I am honest. State your true business, Kohaze. Of course. You are beasts, after all. You have a nose for these things. A young girl from our village wandered into the tombs of the Warden Beasts. Danger stalks those ruins. Humans who enter are never seen again. But... This is not the case for you who were here on this island before. Will you enter the ruins and find our lost girl? If you bring her back, I am sure we can reconsider the question of our land. Do you take me for a fool? Those ruins are crawling with monsters. Our kind has no guarantee of return from them either. You ask us to risk our lives for a human. That girl had her fate, as do we all. Accept it and return to your home. <laughs> I'll go. Oh, Chet, what are you saying? Remember what you taught me, Master Juba? When it matters most, be true to your heart, not to your eyes or nose. But you know how dangerous the ruins are. And this is a human child. 
In time, she will repay your kindness with hate. Human, beast, that's not important now. I think this is one of those times that matter most. And my heart tells me to save that girl. Very well. Go. I am in your debt, Beastling. My name is Ochette. Oh, and leave that meat here. If you cared half as much about your own life as you do about meat. Come on, Mahina. <laughs> 